The DCEU is canceling more projects left and right. The MCU's John Walker knows you hate him, and movie delays are still happening. BD here with your second printing of the week's biggest issues at comicbook.com, and I hope by now you've enjoyed Godzilla vs. Kong on the biggest screen you have access to. Team Godzilla for life right here, not to brag. This week has had some big moments. Good, bad, bit of both. Let's jump in. Yeah, I bet the buffer Warner Brothers and DC Films are not moving forward with Ava DuVernay's New Gods movie or James Wan's The Trench series, which was the spin-off of Aquaman. It's wild how often this happens at DC, and we all hear about it. Like, this happens all the time at a lot of studios. I'm sure it happens at Marvel as well. We all remember the Inhumans movie that became an awful TV show, even if we wish we could forget it. But WB flaunts DC movie titles faster than flashcards the night before a spelling test, and a lot of them just don't end up being relevant. They never happen. They don't, ha they don't come to fruition. DuVernay shared her thoughts on Twitter, saying she loved writing the movie with comics genius Tom King, and was excited to bring these characters to life, but here we are, these aren't happening. Strangely enough, this news of the cancellation of these projects pretty much buried an awesome trailer for the Suicide Squad on social media. This new trailer is playing in theaters with Godzilla vs. Kong and whatever else might be out there in theaters that you can watch right now. Director James Gunn says he wanted two very different trailers for this movie to launch, and honestly, this should have been the first trailer, right? Like, it's far superior to that first one, if you ask me. And honestly, The Suicide Squad remains my most anticipated movie of the year. I'm really glad everybody's excited after this new second trailer. How could you not be, right? Let's talk about Marvel. Actually, let's talk about John Walker, which is something I think our new Captain America would probably like. Actually, not our new Captain America, not my Captain America. Seems like that kind of guy who would like being talked about, though. I talked to Wyatt Russell, who is actually a really good dude, a testament to his acting skills to make you hate John Walker so much, and he knows very, 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 very well that pretty much everybody hates the character. It was fun to be able to be, to, to be set up as that character. Um, normally, everyone's always trying to make you likable or more vulnerable or whatever it is, and this was a different a different thing for me to be able to do, and, and uh, I was, I, I, I kind of, had a blast doing it, you know. I feel bad for the guy, but honestly, the memes are they're just really funny. Look at these. This one's good, and this one's good, and this one's good. They're all, that's all just from one picture. Leave him alone. God. Movies are still getting delayed. Venom Let There Be Carnage is pushed back to September 24th, 2021. I honestly don't even believe that movie exists yet. We've seen nothing from it. Someone show me Carnage, please. Is that movie real? Uncharted was pushed back to February 18th, 2022, and Mortal Kombat, which I thought was supposed to come out in like 20 minutes, was delayed to April 23rd. Here's the thing, each of these delays is one week for their respective movies, but for Mortal Kombat, it means everyone who signed up for HBO Max to watch Zack Snyder's Justice League has to buy another month to watch Mortal Kombat. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. If you're a Walking Dead faithful and you have stuck through this sluggish six bonus episode thing they're doing through season 10, the season finale airs on Sunday night, and honestly, it's actually an excellent episode. You're loyal to your patience, it's gonna be rewarded. Here's Negan, the comic Robert Kirkman wrote to show how Negan became the leader of the Saviors. is loosely, but pretty accurately, adapted to the show. There's some changes. Jeffrey Dean Morgan plays his character as well as ever opposite his real life wife. Hillary Burton Morgan, I think that's awesome. She joined the show as Negan's wife, Lucille. It's a really, really good episode. And after it airs, I'll have an interview with Hillary Burton Morgan on comicbook.com slash The Walking Dead if you want to take a deeper dive into the episode. Speaking of The Walking Dead, Academy Award nominated actor Stephen Young, put some respect on his name, is reportedly joining Jordan Peele's next horror movie. And that's not the crossover we ever knew we needed, but it's now the only thing I want. Go off, Glenn, let's see it. And finally, last bit of news for this week, Comic-Cons are making a comeback. San Diego Comic-Con is planning an in-person event at the San Diego Convention Center the weekend of Thanksgiving, which is kind of weird, but I wouldn't mind spending it with my con community geek family. I love you guys. New York Comic-Con is planning both an in-person event and a virtual event in October, and Megacon is getting ready to kick us off in August. The cast of The Lord of the Rings, all the hobbits are set to gather in Orlando, but that's Florida. So they, they kind of do whatever they want. I, I, one con is gonna happen, it's probably that one. In Florida. That's your second printing of the week's biggest issues at comicbook.com. Leave your thoughts in the comment section about why the second printing is such a better show than The Daily Distraction. Maybe we'll get to the bottom of it one day. Hit me up on Instagram, at Brandon Davis BD, anytime you want to chat, and head over to comicbook.com for more updates. I'm BD, I will see you there.